this is Jean Marie Ward for Buzzy Magazine. With me today is debut young adult fantasy author Morgan Keyes, whose Dark Beast has come out to positively glowing reviews. Welcome. First, I've got to ask, what is a Dark Beast? A Dark Beast is an animal. Um, a dark beast is magically bonded to its human companion when the human is born. Um, there's a religious ceremony that binds them together. And then as the child grows up, he or she spends his entire life um, learning and becoming a responsible adult. Um, when the child makes mistakes, the child is expected to bring those mistakes to her dark beast, to tell th those sins, to confess them, and to learn the error of her ways. And then, at the age of 12, each child is expected to ritually sacrifice his or her dark beast. That's brutal. That's <laughs> totally brutal. Where did you come up with the idea of the dark beast? I was asked about 14 years ago to write a short story for an anthology that was directed to reluctant readers. And the idea was that they were all going to be fantasy stories, they were all going to involve animals, and our goal was to get children who typically do not read to be interested in reading. Mm -hmm. And so I wanted something that had a gritty element, I wanted something that had a um, challenging element, difficult choices for a child to make. And the idea of the Dark Beast evolved from that. Am I imagining things, or aren't there Greek gods and gypsies involved in the mix? Um, in the world of the novel Dark Beast, there are definitely um, characters who grow out of those traditions that you talk about. Uh, the Greek gods are by no means the traditional Greek gods that we've all read about and can recite from memory. Um, but I did start with the idea of the Olympic pantheon and then figure out if I only had 12 gods, what would the 12 areas of uh, religious expertise be within my society? Mm -hmm. Obviously because dark beasts are socially so responsible, there would be, or so important to the society, there would be a specific god dedicated to dark beasts. Mm -hmm. um, but then I had to figure out what other things were important in my society. And money is important, so there is a god of money. And death is important because everybody dies, so there is a goddess of death. And I could allocate the other 12. Mm -hmm. um, as for the gypsies, um, I call them the travelers. Uh, they have some elements related to gypsies or uh, the uh, Romish people as we know them, uh, but more, they draw from other traditions as well. Uh, they are uh, performers, mm -hmm. and I got to draw on my long-standing interest in medieval theater and Commedia dell'arte, and also the passion plays, and to bring those together into um, this group of people, uh, and my heroine who runs away from home after she saves her dark beast and joins up with the travelers. Yep. This book has not only been getting some fabulous reviews, it is the subject of one of the more unusual publicity campaigns I've ever heard of. And I don't normally talk about publicity <laughs> on, on this little show, but I think it's interesting enough that I was hoping you talk to our viewers about it. I have been very, very pleased with the support that I've been getting from my publisher, which is Simon & Schuster, for this book. Uh, Simon & Schuster has devised this publicity campaign. They have looked at one of the animated films that they hope is going to be one of the biggest successes of the fall-winter season, and they've decided to advertise Dark Beast in theaters that are going to be showing that film. The film is called Wreck-It Ralph, mm -hmm. and um, there will be advertisements for Dark Beast in theaters that are going to be showing Wreck-It Ralph, and then when Ralph debuts, there will be copies of Dark Beast that are distributed to uh, viewers of the movie. Mm -hmm. um, and they'll be handed out for free so that some young readers can get a hold of it and can spread the word. Now that sounds wonderful. That really does. Now, at the beginning of this interview, I called you debut young adult uh, <laughs> fantasy author Morgan Keyes, but Morgan Keyes has got a secret identity. She's also Mindy Klasky, award-winning adult fantasy author. Um, how did Mindy Klasky become Morgan Keyes? 
Well, Mindy Klasky has written a number of fantasy novels for adults. Mm -hmm. um, after writing six traditional fantasy novels for adults, I started to write uh, some novels that crossed over between romance and fantasy. Mm -hmm. I had a series about a librarian who found out that she was a witch. Mm -hmm. And I had a series about women who work in the professional theater who are aided and abetted by a genie. Mm -hmm. um, and then I decided to write a couple of straight romances that had no fantastic element at all. And the last of those was very racy. Mm -hmm. um, so much so that I really don't want my mother to read it. And I decided that uh, it would not be uh, really helpful to start writing for 10-year-olds immediately after having written this very racy romance mm -hmm. without taking a little side trip into a pen name. Uh -huh. So that's cool. But the fans of your adult fantasy and romance do not have to despair. I understand that you're bringing out your backlist. Could you tell our viewers a little bit about that? Um, I am in the fortunate position of having uh, the rights to distribute my backlist, and so my traditional fantasy for adults, um, uh, there's a series called the Glass Frights series, yes. um, which traces uh, the adventures of a girl who is 13 in the first volume mm -hmm. and matures to 23 by the end of the series. And those are available as e-books from the e-reads publishing company. Mm -hmm. um, and then I have self-published my uh, backlist of those librarian books and and the theater books, um, and those are available. I am going to be writing my very first completely self-published book um, when I write the fourth book in the Librarian series, the Jane Madison series, um, and that will be out first quarter of next year. To there. All right, that's great. What's next for you? In uh, both of your identities. <laughs> well, Mindy is going to be bringing out that uh, new uh, witchcraft novel that will be out first quarter of next year. Mm -hmm. It is set in Washington, D.C., and it involves the main character creating a school for witches, uh, which never goes quite as well as she hopes it's going to. Um, Morgan's next venture is a little bit up in the air. There is a sequel to Dark Beast, which will be out in 2013. Mm -hmm. um, it's called Dark Beast Rebellion, mm -hmm. and I am very much looking forward to its appearance, and I can see how people react. I, I, I've been pleased by the reactions to Dark Beast, and I hope that continues for Rebellion. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's wonderful. Anything you'd like to add? Um, not at this point. I've really been enjoying balancing these two identities, and I'm almost used to responding to the name Morgan when I hear it across a crowded room. <laughs> I hope you hear it many, many times. Thank you, Mindy. Thank you. And thank you from Buzzy Magazine.